everyone, today we are going to be doing a thrift haul and we're also going to be sharing some of our thrifting tips and tricks to find awesome clothes. And yeah, we've got a couple of things, so we're going to show you now. So the first thing I found is this cool huffer dress, which is like in a knit fabric and a bodycon kind of shape. And I was first attracted to it because I thought the fabric looked really nice. And then I looked at the label and I was like, oh my gosh, that's Huffa, that's really cool. And Huffa is like a New Zealand designer brand, if you haven't heard of it before. And it wasn't even in a designer brand section or anything, it was just hanging up with the rack of dresses. So our first tip is to check the labels. You might find a cool designer piece, or you might even find, like looking at the labels, that the fabric's really nice, like 100% silk or 100% cashmere or something. So you can find from the labels some really good quality pieces and they kind of help you make a decision on whether you want to get something or not or whether it's worth what they're selling it for. Speaking of dresses from Save Mart, the next thing I got is this really beautiful navy structured dress and it's in this amazing fabric. It's kind of almost like a scuba feeling, I don't even know how to explain it. But it's really beautiful, I just loved the shape of it and the silhouette and thought it looked really nice on. I actually found this on a rack that Tara had already looked through and then she was really jealous because she didn't see it. So that's another one of my tips for thrifting is you have to dedicate like a lot of time. Don't just like pop in and do like 15 minutes. You have to spend like quite a few, like an hour at least and sift through every rack because you need to like pull things out and have a good look at it and try things on. It's not really like a quick shopping trip but in the end, it all works out for the best because you get awesome things like these and Tara doesn't. <laughs> I think that's why Ellen's a better thrift shopper than me. She has a lot more patience and she sees a lot more potential in things. Like she's more likely to find them and try them on. So another dress I found was this one from David Lawrence and it is kind of like a businessy style dress. I thought it was really pretty. But the thing that drew me to it on the racks was the quality of the fabric. I knew just glancing at it that the seams looked immaculate and the fabric looked really nice quality. And on further inspection, you know, like the zipper was all in perfect condition and it turned out to be actually quite, you know, like an expensive brand. So that's sort of our other tip is to look for good quality fabrics and items that are in good condition. Because being secondhand, it's not always in the best condition. There might be stains or holes or rips or something. So just check it out and make sure you know it's there before you buy it. A lot of people say that when you go thrifting, you should know what you're looking for. But my top tip is to actually not go in with any specific idea of what you want. You could go in maybe saying, I want to look at dresses or I want to look at workwear. So I actually broke my own rule here and I went to Save Mart specifically looking for a white dress to wear to a 21st that was white themed. And I ended up picking up this dress. And to be honest, now that I've got it home and I tried it on and I wore it to the party, I'm not that super stoked with it. And that's why I tend to suggest don't go in with a super specific idea of what you want because you may end up buying something that you don't 100% love. So it is a really pretty dress with like a beautiful white chiffon fabric, but I'm not sure if it 100% fits me right. Let me know in the comments what you think of it and whether or not you like it. So I was looking for a blazer or a jacket, a kind of businessy looking thing because I have a couple but they're not very good quality, I'm just not very happy with them. So I wanted to get something that looked really nice. So I found this Oliver Black navy blazer and it just is really tailored and really nice quality and it's actually really funny because Ellen has the exact same blazer. <laughs> that I bought at full price in a store. <laughs> yeah. So I actually found this and they had like 20 different sizes of the same jacket. And I think Save Mart sometimes gets in like bulk leftover stock from places. So that's a good tip if you check out Save Mart, have a look at that stuff. Because I'm pretty sure it's never been worn, like it had all the tags and it's pretty cool. I don't know if that counts as a tip, but it's pretty cool. The next thing I got was from Finders Keepers, a little thrift store in Newmarket, which I've talked about a lot before. I buy a lot of stuff from there. <laughs> but it is this really beautiful button-up shirt. It's really simple, but really nice quality fabric. And it's from a brand called Laura Parker. I think it's like a New Zealand brand based in Wellington. But I just thought it was really, really nice and like would look great with a pair of jeans or like a blazer thrown over it. You could dress it up or dress it down. Like a really classic piece for your wardrobe. So another important thrift tip is to always try everything on. For example, this shirt was actually a size 12 and usually I'm like a 10 in a shirt so I didn't know if it was going to fit but the oversized look actually turned out really cool. 
and my white dress that I got earlier was like an extra large. So when you're thrifting, because there's so many different brands, all the sizes are always out of whack. So I'd recommend definitely trying everything on because you don't really know what size you are when you're thrifting. If you read our blog, you may have already seen these. These are our Diane von Furstenberg shoes. And mine are in this cool leopard print with an ankle strap. And Alan's are in this like classic black kind of mock croc finish. They're beautiful, that's what they are. They're just pure beauty. So we got these on Trade Me. So our tip for this is to try online thrifting. You don't know what you'll find, whether it's on Trade Me or places like Designer Wardrobe. You can get some really good finds that have like been worn once or never been worn, like these ones. And oh my gosh, I love them. I also find online really easy if you're someone who doesn't have the patience for in-store mm -hmm. thrifting, because you can just search a brand, because that's how I found these. I was like, I really want something from Diane von Furstenberg. So I searched it in Trade Me and then boom magic so that is the end of our little thrift haul make sure you leave us a comment if you enjoyed it and if you have any thrift tips or if you want to see us do more of these kind of thrifting videos and thanks so much for watching we'll see you in the next one bye, bye. i totally moved like right at the beginning <laughs>